get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. This is Kogan Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with Matt Jim Marbella. We're at the undercard press conference here for Golovkin versus Brook. Look who I'm with. With, look me, with, with me, I've look got with. future legend look who I'm and with. Look who I'm with. old person. Yeah, funny, 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 funny. In your opinion, how good is he? Very good. Uh, in, in how good opinion, could he be? Uh, well, as I said, when his dad first came on the scene, I didn't rate him. I looked what his dad did. So, so you've got to look now what he's doing. Uh, uh, and compared to, to the education that Wisdom has got from his dad, so what he can potentially do. And, uh, and that's a style, that style, what he's got is, is, is full of energy. You've got to have a fireball of intent, and he keeps it, he likes fighting. Fighting when his back's on the road, he just likes to fight. He just told me about the story about sparring with his dad, trying to put it on his dad. I'm thinking, excuse my French, fuck. But, but if you can do that, you know, he's got it in his belly. The difference with a lot of fighters today is, the, the, to Conor is a lot of fighters have to fight so if you come across a fighter that doesn't have to fight and he likes to fight you've got a problem because you don't know what motivates him and that's a, I don't know what motivates this man I don't know why he does it you know but he just wants something to do you know he'd be alright agree with what he's saying Conor? Um, yeah definitely I mean um, you know it's all positive and you know I'm going to take it because I know Johnny would give me his harsh opinion um, and you know I feel good I actually just love fighting I just, it's just, I don't know why I do it. I just love fighting. I love getting hit and hitting back. Um, and I really do think it is something you're born with. Um, you know, my dad was a savage and, you know, I, I look up to him and think, how can he be such a savage fighter and be such a loving and caring dad? And, you know, I just, I just love fighting. It's probably in the, it's in the genes. What do you see from the relationship that Nigel has with Connor? Um, living away, uh, leaving him in the hands of Tony, Tony Sims and Eddie Hearn. And how do you see that? I, I get that. I totally get that because he wants his son to want to do it. He doesn't want to push his son. He wants to do it. Listen, the initiation of him, them two sparring, him trying to put it on his son. As a father with your son, that's tough love. So he's saying, right, if you want it, you can get through me, go and get it. Them two are sparring like the strangers trying to take each other out. So he's basically saying, right, there you go, you're now initiated. So for him now to be out here by himself, his dad all the way out in Australia, he's going to be like a fan, loving fan, saying, go on, son, a bit of advice now and again, a bit of banter now and again. But you know what? That's what you need because his son, it makes you grow up quick. I remember, I remember before I won the world title, I had, ch I had two chances to get kept failing. Brendan said, you're a mummy's boy. You need to leave your mum's house, you need to get away, you need to get away from them, do it on your own. So for seven years I was on the road as a sparring partner, kind of France, Africa, uh, uh, Brazil, Thailand. And it was the best thing that could have happened because I was on my own. And once I was on my own, I came back and I thought, I don't give shit, nobody's beating me. And that's exactly what his dad's done with him in a kind of roundabout way, saying, right, you're on your own. You're gonna and you will mature so much faster this way, with the with the insight and the knowledge of your dad. You will any other way, it's the best way, practical experience to say, right, get out there and do your business. What is the motivation for you in answer to his question? What is the main motivation for you? Um, I believe it's something I, um, I'm good at and I want to be want to be a world champion. And you don't have to come up the hard way to be a world champion. It's just something that's installed in you. Um, I want my nice things, I want my nice house. I want, you know, I want to live it up. And, you know, there's no better feeling than having nice things young. And you know, having a nice car and all this, um, you know, it just people say he's getting things too young. He's getting this. I was brought up in Spain for 12 years, dad driving a Porsche, thinking it was just normal. He didn't have to go to work. <laughs> I had my own balcony overlooking the sea, and I thought that was normal. Um, so it's not the reason I fight. I just, I just want to fight, and it's good. I'm good at it, and that's what makes him dangerous. I can relate to some kid that's broke, that's got nothing coming through and wants to fight his way out the gutter. That, you can get that, you, you see where the hunger's coming from. I don't get this. I don't get where the fight, 
I don't know, get his reason for getting up at stupid o'clock in the morning to go for a run or training three or four times a day till you want to be sick, till you're absolutely shattered. I don't get that. But it but that makes him dangerous because I would never be able to get into the mind of somebody like fighting somebody like him. Because I don't know what motivates him. You can you've got guys that some guys that wear their heart on the sleeve. And so you can always pick and poke and get them mad, get them angry. What do you say to this guy to pick and poke and get him angry? We saw Chris Eubank in here last time they had a, a press conference and Chris passively tried to get on his skin. Trust, it was a bit passive aggressive, he tried to wind him up a little bit. You see how maturely he dealt with him. He didn't cuss him out, he didn't shout him out, he just put him in his place. From then I thought, damn, they got a problem here because this, he's not a boy. He might look like a boy, but he's not a boy. And so and that's now at this age. And that's what I'm thinking potentially down the line. There'll be a few bumps, a few speed bumps, potentially down the line. This kid can be something special because you look at what his dad did. It's that simple. And he's better than his dad at this stage of his career. But obviously, you know, when, you know, when Johnny first turned professional, he I lost his first... Him. No, he lost his first nine fights. Three, and he just, three, nine. Three, three fights. He lost your first nine fights and you still went on to become world champion. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but it's Anything is possible. <laughs> All I'm saying to you is, you're going to get the naysayers. You're going to get the people saying, oh, it's because it's Nigel Benson. You're going to get the people saying, he's not like, you're going to get knockers. I call them armchair champions. They say he's doers. You're a doer. So you're the one that has to get up to train hard. You're the one that has to spar all the time. Blank them out. Even when people are tapping you on your back saying, oh, you're wicked, you're brilliant. Blank them out. Don't be nasty. Don't be horrible. Just say thanks, thanks. End of story. Your successes say it all. So each time you win, each time you get out there and win at the top, they'll think, wow, how do you do that? And that's when they'll respect you. So you'll get good guys and bad guys that'll come out when the sun's out and say, kind of wicked, you're bad, you're bad. I'm not saying be nasty to them. Just be smart. Deal with them right. Say thank you. Appreciate that. But don't take it to heart. You know, don't, don't, don't believe the hype. Don't read the papers and think, yeah, they're saying this about me. You know what you can do, and that's what's most important. And, and the best thing to do is get away sparring and, and getting in there with the big guys. You can do that stuff now. I'm telling you, for your combat alone, it don't matter what I think, what I think, match and think, for you yourself, you know you can fight. So when you get in there, you think, they're not going to beat me. And you're doing the right thing, right path. It's the right way forward. Okay, that was quite interesting. I learned something from that. What's that? I'm not just a pretty you're face. You're a good father figure. You know, I'd like you as my dad. Nigel, I ain't trying to keep you some, man. I, 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 <laughs> 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 Johnny right. Nelson, Connor Ben, thanks for talking to IFL TV. Thank you very much. Oh.